Hello. So we are back. But this time, I was just about to start a job to fix uh, a laptop. I have a HP laptop to fix. You know the blue pin charger? Now I said, you know what? Let's test the laptop. And the laptop has no light. And I said, you know what? Let's test the charger. And the charger has no voltage. And obviously I don't have another charger. I opened the charger. It's a HP charger. You know the blue pin, the... That's how it's called, HP blue pin. Anyway, I opened the charger and I swear this is the most common fault on uh, on a charger, a laptop charger where you have the connector which is soldered on the board. Let me plug the let me plug the the power. Let me plug the power so you can see. Focus. Hey. Okay. So plug in the power uh, cable, pay attention. So it's parking. So you see, this is the most common fault because the charger is plugged in and uh, plugged and unplugged. This is the most common fault on the chargers. So you see the power pin, how can I do it, yeah, okay, so what you can see here, this is the, this is one of the pins, this one, but this, oh, it's not solder, sorry, I take my words back, I was about to say, you know what, it's solder, but it's not. And this is the other pin, which is not soldered. Now, it's one thing here, one trick on, uh, on those chargers. You cannot touch them before you check the voltage. Yeah. So let me switch to 200. And let's check the voltage because, uh, you know, bad things can happen. So we need to know plus and minus, which is about probably here. Zero. Zero. Now let me take out the charger and check the capacitor. Oh yeah, yeah. You see it's a big capacitor, 400 volts. So you have to be very careful. No, the voltage is going down. So we have like 8 volts left and that's all. But if you have a charger... And it's working only when you, you know, push the cable or uh, whatever. This is the most common fault. So actually you have the pins are sparking. Now let's solder, uh, let's solder those pins. Let's solder those pins. We need a solder iron. We need some rosin flux. Rosin is good, you know, especially for these kind of jobs. A lot of rosin. Yeah, rosin is fine. Now you need a solder wire. Solder wire. And you can see the pin is super soldered now. And now the other pin. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now you can check the other, uh, if you have any more uh, crack solders, especially on this big uh, transistor, which is a MOSFET here, I believe. You see that one? Yeah, that one. So you can check the solders just to be sure. 
you don't have another problems here. Now you have a double diode. You know what? I don't even believe this is a genuine, uh, a genuine uh, charger. Probably it's a copy because it, look inside. It's too dodgy. I never fixed this before, and it looks extremely dodgy. But probably it's not genuine. Yeah. But otherwise, it's looking fine. You can see here, like a beginning of a crack solder. Let me add, add some ROS in. Perfect. And this one. <coughs> Perfect. And the middle one. Perfect. Okay. That's all what you have to do. Otherwise, looks good. I mean, I swear this is a copy. This is not a genuine one. Okay. <clears throat> now, in the case you don't have a crack solder, uh, if you don't have a crack solder, just pay attention. Uh, you have here a fuse. Yeah, this one. You have a fuse here. Then, what do we have? Probably here behind of this, you have a rectifier bridge. Then you have a driver there, well, probably you can't see it. Yeah, that's the one. Then you have a power MOSFET there. Yeah, that one. Okay. That's all, just a small video. Because uh, I cracked a lot of chargers. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, yeah. You see a charger where actually you move the cable and you hear the spark and maybe the voltage is coming and it's going. What you'll do? You'll throw it on the bin? I don't think so. You can't have that kind of heart to throw it on the bin when you know for sure it's just a solder. Okay? So now if we're plugging the cable, let's plug the cable. We should have 19 volts here. So we plug the cable, let me grab the multimeter, which is on screen. They have the charger connector, check on the screen, 19.4. Okay, just a short, just a short video. Because you know what? No matter how much money you have, I don't believe, yeah, so let me to not believe this. Yeah, so I don't believe if you love the electronics and you see actually you just move the cable and uh, you hear the spark, you know actually you have a bad solder inside. So I don't believe someone with a charger with a bad solder to throw it on the bin and to buy a new one. Yeah, let me to not believe that. Otherwise, the charger looks fine. I mean. This is a solid metal shield which is coming here over this. It is decent. It's a decent charger. But probably it's a copy, you know what? Probably this is a copy. Because it looks way too dodgy. I'm oh, sorry, this has to be like that. So the metal, yeah, something like that. And the cable, I'll go inside, yeah, like that. And this thingy, and it's like new, it's like genuine. Anyone want to buy a charger, a HP charger, genuine HP? <laughs> Just a little bit of tape and uh, this charger, it will repair a lot of laptops. You don't think? Yeah, like new. It's better than new. Okay, that's all. So now we have a good charger so I can do another video about fixing that laptop.
I will stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Like all this. And see you on the next one. Goodbye.